despite what you might believe, I'm not rich, as some people said. YouTube does not pay me that much. According to the state of Texas, with the amount of money that I make and the fact that I'm supporting three people, we're considered a low-income household and we live in a low-income area. It's undoubtedly a result of decisions I made as a teenager, dropping out of high school and thinking that a career in social media is gonna last me a lifetime. Obviously, not a great choice. Now, I've been following what has been going on with Cam and Fam, i.e. Cameron. I've been following what's been going on through her basically coming onto her Instagram and saying that she needed money um, because one of her kids was extremely poorly and she didn't have insurance. Now, this spiraled into a bit of a suspicion a bit of speculation on people going well why you quite literally have over a million subscribers i mean you have to look on her videos most popular you have millions upon millions upon millions of views going on there it was a really really big channel at one point extremely popular and must have earned a hell of a lot of money to now coming on where she's going I cannot afford my kids insurance. I can't do it. I have no money. Now, I'll read that out to you in just a minute, but she has actually come on and she's made a video in response to some of the criticism that she's been guessing. She has made a response and she's basically turned around and said, we are low income. I don't have any money. Um, I want to focus on my photography. There's lots of other things that I'm going to be pointing out in just a minute, but she basically wants to be able to move away from social media. She doesn't really want to do it anymore. And she blames the lack of money on the on her being a teen mum and her making bad decisions. And I can only imagine what she means by bad decisions is financial decisions. It's undoubtedly a result of decisions I made as a teenager, choosing to carry through with being a teen mom and dropping out of high school and thinking that a career in social media is gonna last me a lifetime. Obviously, not a great choice. Clearly, I was a teenager making teenage-like decisions. Now, the fact that her kid doesn't have insurance, I'm not going to be beating her round the head with this because I feel like she's already gotten that quite a lot. And I think in her case, there is quite a lot of extenuating circumstances um, that go into this. You know, she did lose, uh, she lost her partner, she lost, her, I think it was her husband, uh, the dad to her children. Um, and she has had a series of really crappy things happen. And I'm kind of looking at this from a stance of, a lot of these families and especially the teen mums because we, we are aware that there are quite a few say teen mum i actually got pregnant when i was 19 so i'm not i'm not here shaming people or anything um but what i mean by teen mum is a lot of people who start out on youtube quite young or start out and get given a hell of a lot of money don't really know what to do with it and then end up blitzing it or making poor financial decisions and that is the that is the way that I'm looking at it right now. And I know that a lot of people um, are pointing fingers at her and going, you know what, well, you shouldn't have moved so much. Why do you have so many pets? Why do you go on these holidays? Why do you why do you do X, Y, and Z? I'm on the ground at the fact that I think she was given a lot of money. I'd say given, you know, she was thrust into the limelight quite early. She, she was a team mum. She marketed off of that and did make a series of really bad financial decisions, which has now left her not really wanting to do YouTube anymore, quite broke, children, um, some of which have been quite ill and she hasn't been able to afford insurance. Now, does this mean that she doesn't care and she's not trying to support her kids? Absolutely not. But what I will say is that I just think that this is a real testament, which is kind of why I'm making a video on that. It's a real testament to people who, like, presumably you think that they're going to be set for life and one minute you have it and the next minute you don't. And we have seen it quite recently of a lot of YouTubers who have bought the really, really, really fancy houses, who have bought the fancy vehicles, who have, you know, tried to give off this impression that they have a lot when in actuality that money is long gone because they've spent it or they haven't been frugal enough with it. And in this case, I really do put it down to the fact that she was extremely young and she did all of a sudden come into this money and she wasn't very wise with it and that doesn't necessarily you know in my eyes that doesn't make her a bad person it just means that she was ill-informed of 
you know, how to spend and how to save this money. What, of course, doesn't help as well is that she's obviously gained quite a lot of money off of having kids young and she's gained quite a lot of money off of her kids. Now, will her kids ever see any of this money? Has she saved any money for her kids, the ones that she's used for content? I feel like that's another side to it that I have been thinking of. And honestly, I don't know because she hasn't said, but it can't look too good if she doesn't have insurance for them presumably she wouldn't have any savings for them either ride in an ambulance and that alone is very expensive without insurance and so i just put it out there that anyone who wants to help us out can and then posted a link where people could send us something i got a lot of nasty messages in response to that says child in the hospital with rsv not usual for her kid her age but with her preemie lungs it's hard for her to breathe we'll be here till she's not relying on the oxygen mask she doesn't have health insurance at the moment so the bill for the ambulance and hospital stay will be very pricey gotta love the american healthcare system linking my cash app for anyone who wants to help out just a prayer slash well wish would help a lot right now and then it has a link to the cash app now people were annoyed a lot of people were very angry because they assumed that she does have a lot of money and if you do have a look you know at a glance look at the back catalog i mean she would have been raking in money like and when i say raking in money i mean seriously raking in money and i think a lot of people who would make that kind of money would have a way of being able to save it but it's evidently clear that that isn't what is happening here now can you blame it all on age can you blame it all on you know well she was young she didn't do this and that no um i don't feel like you can but i do feel like that is something that you have to keep in mind and also what has gone on with her in the past few years you know her husband passing a lot of assumptions made based on me saying that Go doesn't have insurance right now. And I don't know why the first assumption is that I have the money to afford health insurance for us, but I just didn't care to spend it there. Like I just didn't see the value in having health insurance and that it's out of sheer irresponsibility. I will have to agree with her here. There are not many people in this world who would choose, you know, not to be able to give their children ability to be able to go to the hospital that that don't care. You know, there are few people in this world that would choose to spend things on luxury purchases rather than that. But what I do think has happened, and even she admitted it at the very beginning, is the fact that she was not wise and she wasn't planning ahead and that she thought that a social media career would be, you know, a viable option. And unfortunately, that's not always the case. And if you're not someone who kind of knows about this or maybe you're a bit too naive, you know, lots of other factors. I mean, you see it happen all the time. People just blitzing their money away. And you see it happen on YouTube quite a lot. And then you then realise that things aren't quite as cushy. But I don't think it's fair uh, for people to say, well, you obviously just don't care about your children because you're not paying for insurance when it sounds like she can't afford it. But I do know that there is a counter argument. And I'll read out some comments in a minute where people are going, well, you know, how come you've moved house a lot? Um, how come you have these pets? How come your children are in daycare? when they don't need to be i know there are a lot of counter arguments and to be honest i would just like to give her the benefit of the doubt in the fact that you know there is just a really really high chance that she has just squandered a lot of the money that she made away from from youtube videos which is an insane amount it, i mean it would be an incredibly large amount of money if you go and have a look on what is most popular on their youtube channel you'll be shocked to now know that they are a low-income household you know, I do honestly reckon that there needs to be some sort of like financial um, guidance given online for people who are, you know, below the age of 18 and they do or 21, whoever, whatever, who do make a lot of money. Just be having someone there guiding them through, you know, saving um, and how to manage their money. And this isn't coming from a patronizing place. But I feel like I've seen this happen quite a lot on YouTube at the minute. And it is extremely sad when it is then impacting children one commenter wrote so what you're saying is you cancelled yours and your children's health insurance but kept your child in day care full time when you don't work you post like one video a month and yes you're building towards a different future career i'm glad that you understand others perspectives because you don't look like you are hustling working hard and doing everything you can to provide for your children
It does seem like you aren't doing much and then just asking for free money. I hope that you are being honest. Right now, your full-time job is YouTube, so you need to push more videos out to make more money. Now, this is in response to something that she said towards the middle and back end of the video, which I'll play to you right now. She basically was saying how she doesn't want to do you know social media is a long-term goal she wants to be able to pursue photography which apparently is what she said she wanted to do at the very beginning when she was younger um but that's not earning her any money and she's doing an online course from it and her you know her technically her way of earning money is youtube but then she'll only be posting one i think it's one video a week if i've seen that correctly so she is focusing quite heavily on photography and then not really doing a lot of her job but then people's argument is the fact that well you could be earning more money by uploading more content and this is what she had to say about that and by that point i plan to fully transition from youtube being my job i'm still gonna film videos but it's gonna be able to be more of a hobby and not something i'm doing to rely on supporting my family which does make it a little bit confusing when she's saying that she wants it she wants it to become a hobby rather than being something that will financially support her family because she does seemingly only post once a week so she doesn't really post that much and her views are nowhere near as good as they used to be but if you want to be able to earn money off of youtube and you want to be able to earn money off of social media you have to be quite um consistent every single day every other day but you have to be uploading because otherwise you're just not going to make that much money how often you upload and the quality of your videos and as long as you upload frequently and they're good quality you're going to see a rise in income and but i do understand that obviously she wants to be able to focus on other things she wants to be able to drift away from youtube i do understand that but just temporarily whilst she is still getting her ducks in a row um as as you can say it probably would be quite wise just to upload lo a lot more um because i do feel like if she did upload a lot more and stuff that she's doing with her day rather than focusing around the kids she could earn a decent amount of money but that is just my own personal opinion but that's the situation I'm in right now, and there's not a lot that I can do immediately to change that. Any job as a high school dropout that I can just go and get right now with the hours that I have available to work, I just wouldn't be able to make enough to support us. A lot of people are like, just go get a real job, and it's like, I, I didn't even graduate, guys. My options are pretty limited. I'm really grateful that the career I am pursuing is something I am passionate about. Even before I started YouTube, that was my life plan, was to become a freelance photographer. And now I'm circling back around to that. It doesn't seem like she wants to really upload that much. Now, there could be a plethora of reasonings as to why she doesn't want to upload. You know, having, uh, being online, is very personable you know she she's got to be able to talk behind a camera and do this and that maybe she just doesn't want to maybe her heart isn't in it anymore but it's literally her only way of making money um and that is unfortunate especially if you have fallen fallen out of love with youtube or fallen out of love with filming yourself maybe she has had i don't know um just a bad time over on the youtube space i mean some of the stuff that she has gone through quite public publicly i wouldn't be surprised that that is all compiling to her not really wanting to be online i haven't really followed her that much that often but i've heard of her story and i've heard about what's been going on and i think that there's always going to be many different sides to this and i don't think that just jumping a lot of people are just jumping to the conclusion that well she should have planned ahead which she should have planned ahead don't get me wrong that's not what i'm saying but i don't feel like she would have done it maliciously i think that she was very naive didn't save her money wasn't prepared for this and now she doesn't it seemingly see she doesn't it doesn't look like she really wants to do youtube anymore but she can't really get out of it and it's you know maybe she will have to find another job in order to to support her family i do think it's quite a privilege to be able to if you are low on money to be able to come online and say hey can you please help me from your fans etc even though she said that only her friends and family in real life actually donated it is quite a powerful and privileged position to be able to do that not a lot of people would be able to do that because they just don't have a fan base online she wants to do something she's passionate about but does that mean that she can then sort of neglect the job that she has on YouTube in favour of just going out and pursuing something she wants to do? Yeah, I do feel like to a certain degree, motherhood and parenthood, not even motherhood, but parenthood is all about sacrifice and maybe having to do things you don't really want to do to earn money or 
doing things you don't really want to do in order to provide for your kids and I think that's another factor that a lot of people are thinking about overall I feel like it is a sad situation of you know someone who did kind of blow their money blow a lot of money uh, a lot of people would be very happy to see that amount of money in their lifetime and you know and, and that is sad but yeah I really do hope that she sorts this one out and she is able to get to where she wants to be eventually um that's pretty much all I have to say about this I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video